Hey everyone, welcome to Definition Ale. I'm Stephen Rich and this is Real Beer. And this is Real Beer. Uh, this is the Neustadt 10W30. Uh, the 10W30 was one of the first beers, the first Ontario craft beer specifically, that really made me fall in love with craft beer. Uh, Neustadt is brewed in Neustadt, Ontario. Uh, it's just a little bit north of Toronto, kind of on your way to cottage country. Uh, really beautiful stuff. They've been brewing beer since uh, the early 90s, I believe. And uh, the 10W30 specifically uh, is an English style brown ale. It's 5.5% ABV. It's available in these 473 mil cans at the LCBO. And, and if you can find it on draft, it's just excellent. Uh, I love the beer uh, for its smooth, creamy, malty flavors. Uh, and on draft, the creaminess is just fantastic. Uh, it really resembles a nice, thick and luscious stout uh, in terms of the mouthfeel when you can find it on draft. Uh, so go look for it. It is excellent. So let's see what it looks like here. Honestly, it took some time, but I was rewarded for my efforts. However long that pour took, I know some people are going to say, oh, I, he's pouring that beer way too slow, that took way too long. But look at the beer that's produced. The head is tight and compact. The beer is beautiful and kind of this, it's got this nice amber brown going through it. As the light pierced through it, I'm getting lots of mahogany and ruby red colors. It's just fantastic, and like I said, this nice, tight, compact, sort of off-white, accru, uh, light tan into brown head is just fantastic. Beautiful looking beer. Ooh, the aromas right away to me are soft chocolate and roast. Yeah, it's got this really beautiful milk chocolate aroma with little bits of uh, coffee beans. Not even coffee, but the coffee beans themselves. Smooth roast, very elegant. Almost a hint of like marshmallow and vanilla in there as well. A touch of oak maybe. The beer's not oak aged at all. Although that would be really interesting. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of soft roast, touches of smoke, that little bit of wood sensation, and this little bit of kind of soft, really gentle milk chocolate. Uh, let's see how it is. Mmm. Yeah, this is the beer I remember. Really beautiful. So first of all, I took this can out about half an hour ago. Uh, it's 5.5%, so it's not really big and crazy. But I'm familiar with these flavors. I knew I wanted this malt-focused beer. I don't want this to be too cold. You know, this is probably about 10 to 12 degrees Celsius right now, and it's perfect. It's cold enough to be nice and refreshing, but it's warm enough so I'm feeling and absorbing all those flavors. So it's malt all the way. Uh, it's beautiful, smooth, creamy malt sensations that lean on roast, uh, leaning into the chocolate and the espresso kind of characters, uh, getting those touches of smoke again. Um, almost caramel, but it's a little bit more bitter than that. You're getting those bitter sides of chocolate and roast um, without overall hot bitterness. There's a sensation in here of some kind of earthy and uh, slightly sweet and fruity uh, English style hops, but overall they're they're very balanced into the back of this beer. The hops really are just there to provide some sort of balance uh, to the malt character in here. So it's not cloyingly sweet. Uh, it's not like menacingly thick on the palate. It's very easy to drink, very smooth and lush. As I said before, uh, it really is proving that I was right on that fact, and I'm very happy I was. I still love the color. I, I'm totally enamored by it. This nice, beautiful red mahogany, this ruby kind of sensation going right through it. Completely transparent. Just gorgeous. Oh yeah. The chocolate and the cocoa and the bit of coffee on the nose 
comes through in like nice toffee and warm malt sensations on the palate. It's very relaxed and very gentle overall, but big in character. Smooth and easy to drink, and just overall a very pleasurable beer. I'm really having a good time with this. Hints of vanilla as well, uh, but overall vanilla and wood is kind of uh, on the nose here. And the palate, it's all that malt sensation. It's into toffee, it's into that baked bread and kind of cookie dough sensation. Um, not dessert sweet, nice and soft, uh, and balanced with a good roasty bitterness. Excellent beer, one of my all-time favorites. Cheers. Beautiful.